Good morning, everyone. Before we continue with our service, uh, I want you to have a think about two questions for me. Where is your favourite place to go and why? If you're watching at home, it might be a good idea if you paused the video and had a little think and chatted with the people around you. Uh, however, if you're watching me uh, in church, uh, I'm only going to give you a couple of seconds to think about this. Um, but I'll give you my example. This is a short video that I took when I was on holidays a couple of weeks ago uh, along the north coast of Ireland and this is one of my favourite places. Now, why I love it there is because um, it's calming, it's nice and quiet, the sea is there, uh, and because it's the north of Ireland, there's a 90% chance I'll run into somebody that I know at any given point of the day. Um, but there's just something about being beside the sea that makes me think about God a little bit more. Like, not in an academic sense, but more of a, look at this creation, look how good this is. This is still really, really beautiful. Um, and God made this. There's something so good about whenever we go to our favourite places and everything that bothers us just seems to disappear and uh, our worlds seem a little bit more perfect um, you know, for, for a small period of time. Sooner or later though we have to come back to normality um, and leave those favourite places behind and come back to real life which might be a little bit more turbulent and scary and there are a lot more things that would bother us. Um, than when we're in our favourite places. Part of the passage this morning uh, describes what life will be like whenever the people of Israel get to their favourite place and that is just being with God um, and everything around them will be perfect. There will be no more threat of war um, and all the other things that could harm them just simply disappear. They're not there. Um, in Chapter 11, verse 6, we can see the example of the wolf lying down with the lamb. It's a strange image um, because wolves eat lambs. So to see them actually getting along together shows that um, there is only peace and life where God is. There is no death. They can never be separated from God ever again. That's what gives us as Christians such hope uh, for the future in front of us. We have our favourite places, our own little slices of heaven, but eventually we have to leave those places and come back to normal life. Whereas in the new creation that's before us, we will be with God enjoying the completeness of his new creation forever. There is no separation from God ever again. We can't lose um, being in this new creation. How perfect is that? We will be with God in perfection all the time. I hope you think about this as we come to our passages today. Um, and next time you go to your favourite place, just have a little think about the goodness of God and uh, how great it will be to be part of his new creation. Thanks very much for thinking about that with me, guys. Enjoy the rest of the service.